I'm going to make a 3D flying plane. Okay, it is 2 inches tall, 11 inches wide, took tape, taped it together, took a 3 inch by 2 inch square, folded a half an inch on both sides, taped it around like a ha an inch um, from the very tip, take a, took a piece of tape, um, taped it taped it over, put a piece of paper up under there so it would be stable. And it's about like one and a half inches. Let me check real quick. Yeah, one and a half inches. And then you trace it out again. You trace through these one, two, and then you tape it on. And then the excess you cut. One goes on top, one goes on bottom. Tape it, then cut the axis. Tape it, then cut the axis. 5 inches tall, 11 inches. You attach the wing 1 inch, one inch off the nose. Elevator measures 3 inches by 5 inches and 2 inch slant and control surface a third of an inch. Use only one sheet of paper. For the rudder, fold in half. This is 3 inches by 3 inches. The control surface measures a third of an inch and the slant measures one and a half inches. This is what it should look like. Okay, take tape, cut the control surface, see, and fold it over that and you get your control surface. Open it up like a butterfly and tape it and you're done. Oh, and you have to take like a pencil of some sort and stick it under and tape it for extra support. Peace. Here's what it looks like, popsicle stick, rather.